There you go. Hey guys. Been south. <laughs> What's your problem? Am I not fast enough for you? HLC Fishing and Adventuring. Hey. What's up? Hey, Jake. He's first. Can't put a pickle in fickle. Back to jerking the gherkin really itself. <laughs> Adventure America. Hey. What's up, Troy? Brokeback Bob. Dead <laughs> South said it ain't a solo trip. Her new boyfriend is going to be on the show. Well, not quite. Don't be jealous, Mid South. <laughs> hey, Kim Burris. Hey, VA. What's up? I'm doing okay. Worked all day. I came out here just to try to catch a carp from Mid South, and he's not grateful, so. <laughs> See how it is. Man, I can't get my tripod to cooperate. So, you've been wearing them out, huh? Yeah, four drones at like, I don't know, like a. 60 pound freaking grass carp. I got the blue cat. And uh, I lost something giant. I don't know what it was. But it took the skip jack. I don't know why it got. But he came like 10 feet from the bank. I don't know what it was. But it was something, it was something heavy. Hey, Jerry Hager. Hey, Big John, Big John. Brokeback Bob said, don't worry about me, Seth. He's a nobody. <laughs> Where'd he go? I'm having to move because my tripod will stay still. I went ahead and I got one pole out, but the hook may be too big on it, so I'm fixing the other one up with a smaller hook. Um, this is all I had, though. Those will work. Those will be fine. Okay. And Sal said, I can't get my tripod to work with the two long legs work fine, the short one, not so much. <laughs> hey, he is. <laughs> you can always count on Mid South for the comedic relief there. Hey, Michelle Mason. Let me know when you get your uh, JB Weld. <laughs> get your JB Weld yet? <laughs> well, the first time I sent it to her, it never got there. Well, where'd it go? Was, it was a failure of our U.S. postal system. Is that or there's some postal employee that's real happy right now? Oh, it's all perfect. Just what I needed. Hey, Rod. Um, yeah, I'm by myself today. Travis is mowing. Tony, <laughs> Tess said Tony's showing his good side. <laughs> Mid south, three tracks in the sand. And one is wiggly because one hung loose. <laughs> hey, JBT. I tried carp fishing and only got turtles, Curtis said. Hey, Curtis. 
Well, I mean, that may be what happens here, but it's pretty here. I came down, I'm at my local par, uh, pond. But um, I fished, there's a, a, another side to it. It's like not at the park, and that's where I'm at. You can actually drive through a field to get to this part of it, but I'm liable to get attacked by a duck on the nest over here. If I get attacked by a duck, don't nobody laugh, okay? Michelle Mason said, hi, Skip Jake Tone. <laughs> What's up, bud, pals? Now, why would you be having a heart attack, Mid South? He said, "If I'm having a heart attack, I want you to know you were loved and wanted." Hey, do I need to pull that weedless thing off of there? Can I even? Will it be okay? Uh, don't we uh, use it? But it'll be off. Okay. You're Max Hadron, but I can still understand you. Those are your old bass hooks or something? Um, yeah, they came out of my um my bass tackle box that I haven't had the heart to let go of yet. Mid South said it was just gas. Forget what I said. I don't like y'all. It's, or JBT said, if you're having a hard attack and fall down, I'm sitting on your face, not as a sexual act either. <laughs> I don't see it. I can't. I really just can't see it any other way there, JBT. You want to teabag Mid-South? So I missed you guys Sunday, and I didn't fish Friday either. So after long lab laboring long and hard today, I had to come out here and fish so I could talk to you guys. It was great, JBT. It says said, JBT, it will become a sexual act. <laughs> God. Y'all are a bunch of Fruit Loops. What happened to Tony? Stop dropping out, Tony. Even better, I guess it's okay as long as you don't make eye contact. That's <laughs> weird. I said JBT loves tall salad. All right, I'm fixing the. I guess I'm going to put a night crawler on this one. I got corn on the other one. I also got a rooster tail just in case I get desperate. Get the 
Next time we get the hook with the coin on it and bring it all the way up to the bank. See the bite? Oh, you didn't see it go slack? No. But I just had a massive bite on that thing. I might catch something. Woohoo! I got to rebait all my baits, so. That's a good sign. Y'all talk amongst That's yourselves. Yeah, it is. You got sweet corn or regular corn? The what? The corn. I'm using the, just whole kernel corn, real corn. Okay. All right. Hey, man.
Mandy. What's up? What's up, Fish and Frustrations? Hey, Angela. Night crawlers, JBT. Small red wigglers are better to use for carp. Use a few on a hook. I'm not sure what you're using. Troy was in here just a minute ago. I think my chat is broken mid south. Can't see your comments. We used that pack bait you sent before. We did go carp fishing. Um, okay. No, this is my first time fishing here. Like, I fished way down there before. You can drive through the field and uh, fish over, over there, but. I do need some more. I do need some more um, tag bait. Someone had to say it. You will. Hey, Donald Long. <laughs> hey, piggies. Dang it. What would we do without your mid south? <laughs> I'm scared to find out too, Mid South. My line is just about impossible to see. Didn't show fish bites. Host says, "Dang it! That's because I had to throw. <laughs> I had to throw that uh my rod that I had in my hand down, and I was just trying to get there. It's the reason I got had the dang it." Trying to get there. Troy, your best friend won't talk to you? 
Is Mid South ignoring you? I think he's just afraid of his own feelings. You know? They're going to, these little fish are going to steal my bait. Troy, I'm distracted by your lovely wife. Not sure why she always shows up in a bikini. <laughs> Let me see where I want to throw out. I'm going to have to hold that uh, rod in my hand, I guess. <laughs> you just hit the beach last weekend. Did y'all do any good? Y'all said you were going to be fishing. It's been so long since I've been to the beach and I didn't get to go fishing last time I was there. Sorry I'm missing chat. Jacob, or, yeah. I hope Gig's not depending on me to, uh, to read chat. Because <laughs> I'm missing so much of it. A good thruple would have invited me. You caught a lot of whiting? Hey, stick man. Welcome in. I'm out here seeing what I can do. I don't know. I might have to throw some more corn out there. No such luck for me, Sandy Troy and Backroads Freedom caught all my fish. Well, dang it. That wasn't nice. I'm going to have to put some weight on this thing. Hey, Paul. Welcome in. I may have to not try to use three rods. The fish meat self. Next time we catch some, we'll send a picture. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Quit stealing my bait. Oh, oh. Okay, something went after my corn. I'm going to hold this one. Well, Mid-South, I've got the drag real loose on it. My 
my rod holder and everything is in Travis's car. I did not feel like getting it out there last night before I left. I do have the drag set real loose. Hey, hey, Jerry, I sent your uh, letter out today. I've got one of the rod holders in the car, and uh, I don't have any pieces of rebar to drive into the ground. Yeah, right. What's up, hunting and stuff? How are you? I don't own a net. Why do you think I always fish with Travis? When I was a bat, when I fished for bass, which is all I get, I got all that gear. We didn't really need a net where we fished. Besides that, if I get, if I catch a carp, this water is real close to the edge. I'll just get down my hands and knees and get the carp. But it don't look like I'm going to catch a carp. Maybe. I don't know what else is still in the bait, but I don't see carp. Don't believe. Hands and knees, that's hands and knees, that's what I said. Well, I hope I don't lose these rods, but. I'm keeping an eye on them. If you start spelling running, it'll be just like in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I'm a long way from the ocean, but I'd like to be at the ocean. I'd like to be surf fishing. I can't even, well, let me see if I can find a, something to make a rod holder. I'm an industrious country girl, I can do this.
There. Hey, Benoit. Thank you. I think it's pretty. If you fell off a surfboard, you would break something. I got no invite at all, and Cindy gets one. Next time I won't send you pics, I won't wear the speedo that would teach you. Hello. Huh? Um, no, I've got some bites, but I ain't caught anything yet. We've been kind of trying to fix the room right here. That's why we love The other day when we was out here, we caught a turtle several times right here. Yeah, I figure there's turtles in here. I saw one over there on the other side. Yeah, I know hot mess. Like, I don't know her personally, but I know her from on here, y'all. Anyway, every time we come here, we I know. I, I was going to pick that up before I left. I don't know. People are trashy. Troy said, Mid-South, you love everyone. <laughs> hey roughneck garage how are you thank you for coming in of course you can come to mid-south and you and troy can talk about whatever pops up <laughs> That sounds like it's right up the uh, mid south alley. Okay. There we go. It's a wonderful day. It was like 83 degrees here today. I do not know Grandma Kelly. Eh. They're trying to catch them some bluegill. Like your sounds playing in the background. It's the birds are carrying on, aren't they? There's something to be said for that green line because I can't really see this line. It was yeah, it was 83 degrees. I know what I mean, so. We're at the uh, city park.
I started a trend. Nobody was over here till I got over here. I would tell them it's Catfish Dave's spot. <laughs> you are you a shit stirrer, a poop disturber? Come on, fish. I want something to go after that corn. would fully enjoy being her friend. Here's her full name to search you like. And I know Grandma Kelly's clean life, clean living. I'll check her out. Does she fish? If she does, tell her to come check out her lives on Wednesday night. Mid's house says, Grandma Kelly's welcome to clean my house. <laughs> she probably would if you paid her good enough. Mid's house. Hey, 217. What's up? Come on, fish. <laughs> What's that wall bash name? How's it going? Try the John Parker Fish and Spot Security System just part until they leave. <laughs> so I'm if I catch anything here, it might be a turtle wheel. Did you have a turtle? Yeah. It's big. <laughs> I think something's missing with the corn. Your cat thinks that bird is in your house. <laughs> is it looking for it? That's funny. <laughs> What's up, Dale? How are you? mid -South said, wait. Up. Oh. They caught a little turtle. I'm probably on that thing. Wait till they find out this isn't a live stream. You're just talking to yourself. 
Then I would be my neighbor. I came home today and my neighbor is sitting out in her yard talking to herself. It's okay when she's talking to herself. It's when she gets out on her front porch and starts cussing in the midair. But you're in the midst of making dinner, waiting for coals. That's cool. Your back feels a lot better. Mine hurt all day. What's up, Terry B? Travis is mowing right now. Unless he's lurking in chat. He might be lurking. You never know. Dale said, Evening, Miss AA, Mr. AA, Jerry, and I suppose Mid South. My favorite pelican kayaker. <laughs> <laughs> Mid South said. Won't you be, won't you be, please won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Bill, yeah, send him to your house to mow. I don't know if he had to mow his parents today or not, whether he. He probably is mowing everything. He's probably mowing his place. He's got a lot he has to weed eat and stuff. Come on, fish. I'd like to catch some. He had to hit the live to catch up. I hate when I get behind in chat or get behind in the video. I'll be talking about something they're talking about on the screen. Mid-South said, see, go, I found a great deal on a Jackson NAR. All you have to do is leave your garage unlocked. <laughs> <coughs> you spent almost two hours mowing with your weed eater last Friday. That's what Travis did to his art yard all last year. He mowed with his weed eater. <coughs> Troy uh, and Angela... He does those uh, duck races and stuff. The last mail call I did had what I won from him. But yeah, those those races are fun. Seagull was talking about manscaping, not a lawn. <laughs> Seagull said, Mid-South, I've got a better deal for you. You don't have to drive as far. Bogo went dugout in ATL. <laughs> that was supposed to be our little secret deal, said. <laughs> I don't think I love the pollen. Seven to everybody you don't already have. Cool. Uh, somebody is uh, donating a scale for the giveaway. Don't get you away for nothing. Hey, still, Ken, I'm sorry I didn't get any photos of T-Bones on the grill tonight. Dang. I don't see Bogle on their website, he said. <laughs> yeah. 
in South, check their social media. It's in store only and no delivery. You'll have to haul your honey down there and pick it up mid south. Them ducks are nesting over there. <laughs> Sick man said, well, while here, please smack that thumbs up like button like you were hitting a fly. Yeah. Come on. I'm going to do the giveaway once I hit 500 subs. Awesome. Well, if I can get a couple more shorts to take off, I should have about 16,000 before I do my 15,000 sub live. Cindy already knows I like her. <laughs> Well, let uh, let YouTube know. At least them ducks had the courtesy to go in the bushes. But I think they're still doing the same thing that the ducks were doing the other day. But they hid out. That's kind of them. Pineapple coconut rum sounds pretty good. With a little bit of, yeah. Frozen. Today it was warm. So I don't think we're going to go to Loudon for Wednesday's live. We keep on going to Loudon. It's like beating a dead horse. It's just not working out. Have you caught a nasty bottom sucking carp yet? No. 158 pounds with seat and pedals. That's almost as much as I weigh from the ankle down. <laughs> Come on, fish. Come on, fishy. You nasty scum sucking bottom feeding fish, you don't want you. See the thing about it is they may be all that, but they fight good from what I hear, so that's what I want it. Says, now you know why I had to get a trailer. It rolls great on the sea tug in the driveway, though. Yeah, it's about the fight. I want a good fighting fish. But you know what? This is a whole lot more soothing to my nerves than being at home. 
I was tired when I got off work. My back was hurting and stuff, but I was like, you know, just go. You'll feel better. And I do. We're going to have to go carp fishing up there before he is. I wasn't sure about this pond, but it's close to the house, so. They do fight pretty good. I had a 20-pound buffalo carp on 4-pound mono for 20 minutes before they split it, spit it. Yeah, see? I keep on hearing how good a carp fights. I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. Stickman said, best fish on Paul, I can bring you to 499 subs. I have many channel names. <laughs> Angela said, yeah, I agree. Cindy, being out in nature always makes me feel better. Yeah, you hear all these birds and stuff like that. It's impossible to, to stay in any kind of mood. Wow. That bird was black and had the reddest wings. That was beautiful. But I told myself when the weather got nicer like this that I would come out more. Okay, stick man. What are you at now, Bass Fishing with Paul? What's your number? Stigman sounds like a uh, Willie did the other day. Willie got Ken to his uh, fifteen hundred. Hey, fish isle. Well, so far no luck, but I feel better than I did when I was at work today. So. Dale said, wind advisory and severe thunderstorms, a severe storm is possible here. I'm firmly planted on the couch tonight. I probably should have stayed home and rested. But, you know, like I said, I only was live the one time this weekend, and it was late, and there was 50,000 other people live. So, I missed you guys. I wanted to see if I come down here and get a cart, but I also wanted to talk to you guys. I'll leave about darkish. I got a lot, but. Mid South said, Cindy, get me to 2,000 subs today and I'll quit smoking. Well, I can get you to 2,000 subs, but not today. Thank you, Angela. I never thought I would like be, because I've never been real outgoing. I've always been kind of backwards. I never thought I would enjoy doing these lives and talking to people uh, as much as I do. Hey, Jonathan. Mid-South, how many do you have now? And I'll give you a guesstimate. With this sound, I was getting a thousand a week, but it's slowed down some, so it's probably more like 500 a week. So, 500 a week times however you got 571. Well, then a month. If you'll get some good content for 12 second shorts and Hey, OG, do dirty. I'm not making the videos for you. I do good to come up with content on my own. And it's been sorely lacking lately. Thank you, OG. I appreciate you so much. But it just makes my day when you come in and do that. <laughs> That's how you get a... Uh, I'll have to go and subscribe for Mid-South. No, 
to help him <laughs> take longer. If it's a fishing channel, I'll be there. Well, you know, I'll have the show every Wednesday night. Every Wednesday night. Lives are so much fun. Maybe I'll do another one next week with a special guest. That's that. That would be cool. You're not. Are you going to do them every other week, Seagull? And on Tuesdays, you were Tuesday last week, weren't you? Is there ain't nothing else going on on Tuesday? And uh, I'd I'd like to have something to go watch. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Jerk. Uh, if you catch a turtle again, go throw it in their window. <laughs> it ain't moving. Yeah, we got one that keeps killing our bait. <laughs> I've never caught a carp other than a small one out of my pond. I've never caught a big one. I've been seeing all these silver carp and grass carp and everything, and uh, I would really like to catch one. Tony was up, but his signal was spotty. So. They say there's such a good fight. I really want to catch one. I really do. That was the plan every other Tuesday, but I have to change the week. Checking now. Okay. And so I said fishies. Well, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever caught one other than a cast net. We got that the day that we went out with Shining Light on the pontoon, Anthony. Uh, they caught two huge ones, common carps in a cast net. Paul said I'm going live every Saturday might be afternoon or evening you call Asian carp I don't know I used to catch them as a kid but they were like nuisance fish I, I wasn't specifically targeting them targeting them and I don't know what kind they were but now that I like seriously like to fish I, I want to catch one for the fight Thank you, dropping links, broke back bulb. Yeah, that you packaged the barbecue sauce perfectly. That is not your first rodeo. It it came one hundred percent unscathed. I made a uh, mail call video, but I didn't have uh, hitch by hitches stickers in it. I took them out of the package. So I had that package up at a. What are you having your live men sell? Troy's going to be front row. Yeah, Wednesday, I'm pretty sure we're going to try to go somewhere that's not loud. And Sal said, Hitch by Hitch. Never heard of her. Hitch by Hitch is awesome sauce. <laughs> a member of my a member of my channel I got the Oh, even just a monkey, too. Y'all, they're over there catching baby turtles. <laughs> Look what I got. Hey, 
Are you all ready? Look. Paul making me look closer to see if I know him. Woohoo! Oh, good man. Hey, come here. No, oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, I swear. We are going to fight. Maybe? I caught that. Maybe? No. No. Oh. I'm going to put you back so you can fix it. A red ear slider. That one's he's got his mouth open. He's kind of he's kind of pissy. Watch me get my finger bit by this little bitty turtle. They call it a little bitty bluegill or a brim. As soon as Mitchell posts the modification for his life, he'll have one waiting. I know he will, Troy. They bite. Yeah, look, he's got his mouth hanging open. He's mad. Oh no, he closed it. So I'm in a turtle hole. If I catch anything, it's probably going to be a turtle. He's got little claws. They do buy turtle soup, Paul said. Big Malone. What's up? Hey. Seagull said, hey, hey, who would that be, Becca or Sandy? <laughs> Y'all tired looking at the turtle. All right, I'm putting the turtle back. I'm pitching him back in. He was kicking his leg out there a minute ago. Cindy walk over to them and look him in the eyeballs and say, Y'all. <laughs> I almost read that out loud. You'll either have fun of having this fall to yourself either way you win. <laughs> no, I'm afraid they take me up on it. Fast fishing with Paul, all done. Four ninety nine now, buddy. What's the shell look like? Oh look, he is mad. He wants let he wants free. It's all covered in uh, moss. He's got a hairy shell, mossy shell. Look, now he's mad. He's got his mouth hanging open. He is ticked off. Hey, Rebel River Cats, what's up? Thank you so much. <laughs> I think he's cute. It's all funny games so he poops on me. It's okay if he does. What's up, Rebel River Cats? Yeah, his shell looks like that. <laughs> he is mad. <laughs> he's mad, Tony. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a, a one that's smaller than this one. Look, he's about to come out again. That one's tiny. What? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> his mouth open. Which end is his business end? Okay. Mouth, so. Got him? Wow. Oh, got two now. I don't even know. Is that a snapper but like a box turtle or something? Maybe a red or turtle? No. He's going to try to get my finger. This one's trying to get my finger too. <laughs> Bigger one we think.
Oh, he's going to try to get me. I'm throwing him back. He's reaching all the way back around behind his shell to get me. All right. He's going in the water, too. I think I got him in the water. <laughs> I got him close enough to where he can find his way. Well, oh, dang it. They're, this place is apparently full of them. They're catching them one, one right after the other. They're bluegill fishing. Anthony's been wearing them out. He's been catching carp and drums. You wait. He, he tell his mom and dad on you. <laughs> he probably will. Y'all catching all the turtles. They really like worms. <laughs> we ain't trying to, we promise. I don't know how long it takes Mel to get uh, Jamaica, Jamaican, but it does only cost like 76, 78 cents, something like that. Eight thirty-eight. Eight hundred thirty-seven subs now. Thank you, Cindy. You, you great friends. Yeah, man. I tell you what, I have the best chat. Hey, Gerald. No, I'm not catching anything. The people that are over here next to me, though, they're wearing the, uh, they're wearing the turtle of turtles out. I mean, little baby turtles. Mid South said that's all. I had 5,000 subs went into Cindy's live and also ended up with 837. Well, <laughs> how do you think I get all my subs? I suck yours away there. See the little baby turtle? <laughs> I've reached a thousand plus subs. I've been given gold, silver, and a magnet fishing kit, a pin pointer, a hand digger, and when I'm monetized, I will give all the earnings back to the YouTube folks. Um. I've got a sound. Ask your friend over there if she wants to shoot it. <laughs> no. No, Tony, I don't know who they are. Just some people at the park. Uh, my, my oldest son lives at home, but he does not like being outside and fishing and stuff. Um, my youngest son lives in Knoxville. I have a sound that'll get you to your thousand subs real quick. They're not, Bobby, they didn't come with me. I'm by myself down here. This is a park. There are going to be other people here. Y'all are nitpick. Nitpick, nitpick, nitpick.
Hey, are y'all happier about my rod holder? Oh, <laughs> Something that's not a turtle. It's <laughs> left you. That's a mid south, and you said daughter cat. Yep. Yeah. Picture number two. Tony said, I am Otter Cat. We're all Otter Cat. What's up, Lonnie? How are you? Yeah, it's not easy. Maybe. I bet they leave. Yes, let's now. Your current rod holder is hot. <laughs> Travis is uh, mowing. He's Seagull said, settle down, Mid-South, similar to Earl telling Cindy to behave. You know, it don't work with me, usually. I'm respectful in other channels. But, um, something is eating the corn off of this stupid hook. I laugh if they're over there reading chat. That's an old school rod holder, yeah. I'm using the night crawlers and um, corn because I'm trying to catch a carp. What's up, Joe McGraw? Spring is sprung. Yay, time to go fishing. Well, we fished all winter, but we didn't do very good most of it. Every time I top that, I feel guilty for some reason. <laughs> well, I don't know because it's not catching any fish itself. That's why it's a stupid. The fish are stupid when they don't bite too. You may be fishing tomorrow afternoon. That will be awesome. I won't be fishing tomorrow unless Travis is like, "Hey, let's go fish," and then I'll be like, "Okay." Big girl, back it up. <laughs> I had my headset charged up, but if I would have uh, been wearing it, you guys would not probably have been able to hear the birds instead. So, are you making fun of me, Mitsa? Make some fun of me. Yeah, they're bluegill. They're they're catching a few over there. I know you think they're taking it off the hook. They're also catching a fair amount of turtles too, though. For real, the chick is over there being over. <laughs> You're a mess, mid south. Mm 
a mess. I'm going to watch this carp rod. Well, i got two of them that's got corn on it now. I'm going to watch it real close. I'm going to try to see if I can see them still on this. He said, I'm going to fish in there right away. Mid-South is trying to get me to read in a voice they can hear. <laughs> I just cleaned a three pounder, a two pounder, a three pounder, try to take my arm off. For real? No, you you're not Gerald. I mean you are Gerald. It's a girl and a guy. The girls over here wearing the tank top. Bonnie said I went crazy over carp fishing years ago. If you need some tips, for, I do. I was asking everybody, wh you know, where should, well, it ended up being where I had to go because I got off work and had to go to the post office to mail some stuff off to you guys. And then I had to go to the grocery store because I didn't have stuff for breakfast and lunches for work. By the time I got home from the grocery store, it was like I had time to come over here and that's about it. Joe, yeah, you can hear the birds chirping. I know I love spring and everything is just like a different shade of green. I was telling Travis that we were driving, was it Saturday? And I was like, look at all the different shades of green. Everything's just beautiful. Around this pond here, you'll get attacked by ducks that are nesting too. I will not repeat, hey, green shirt, show me them boobs. Hey, but okay, Piggy. Did you hear me say it? Pack bait boys and hair rigs. I have some. I have boilies. I don't have pack bait because we used it all already. Um, and we we hadn't made any, but I have some boilies and hair rigs. As a matter of fact. This stuff said Cito, Cigo, you don't like junk fishing. What which one was that? That's the Cabela's bag that I won off Mo Dog from uh, Hitch. That Cabela's bag that I was putting my rods in earlier. Lost your jug fishing license years ago. Boilies? I don't have them with me. They're in my other bag, but they're the one I got. From, the ones I got from JBT are about. They look like a gumball. I had one fillet to go, and your nerves slipped. The knife had them in your hand. Wow. Jake got the crabs. Now he's itch by itch. So look, Lonnie, if you're still in there, see fake corn. That's probably the size hook I needed. I don't know. The hook is sharp as crap. Paul, scientists have found that if you close your eyes, think about salt, they imagine that shaking salt into your mouth, you can taste it. You can, t you can try sending it on camera so we can see. <laughs> Which one of them poles is getting yanked on? Is it this one?
I don't know exactly what the boilies are made out of either sentence or no, he wants me to shake salt in my mouth. I got that one. Ha ha ha. Nope. I mean if you need me to imitate that, I'll just do it. I think I was a cute wife from guessing the chloroform still hasn't worn off. <laughs> So, uh, Paul, Paul, if you're the, hey, Eddie Gross. <laughs> What's up, Travis? You used to make your own because you're on bakeys because you put them in the oven, yeah. I don't know. What are they made out of? I hadn't caught nothing, Travis. Nothing. They're over here next to me, though, wearing a little turtle's out. So, Paul wanted me to demonstrate the whole shaking the salt in my mouth. Yes, what you wanted to see, Paul? I ain't scared. I ain't scared. They're catching little bluegill on those tiny little, tiny little turtles. Gerald said, oh, no, she didn't. Travis, did I? <laughs> Gerald, I am not scared. Paul wanted to see that, so I did it. So y'all y'all want to act like it? Uh, I got to go see if a Wilson is alive. I can't believe you left him. Paul said, that's why Travis got a grin on his face a lot of times. Heck yeah. Not if she waited till Travis showed up to do the salt shaker. Well, you, you'd think that I wouldn't have waited till Travis got, uh, got in here to do the salt shaker. But I'll do the salt shaker. He was trying to trick me into doing the dirty thing, and I'll just do the dirty thing. I ain't scared. I ain't even scared. <laughs> Fish meal, milk protein, bird flour, soy flour, and eggs. Seagull said, Mid-South, you're losing your touch with the ladies. I'm both, both humbled and impressed with Paul. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. Did you see the, the cages that I had, Lonnie? I got those with the fake horn and stuff. And then I've got these hair rigs with the tiny little bee hooks. And I think that's what you put, um, yeah, method feeder. That's what you put, uh, see the boilies. If either of the kids are under 18, you're going to jail. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, that's Lonnie. Well, you want giant carb use meat. Well, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to have to take some of this line off this tiger rod. I put too much on it. It's being a pain in the butt. And I have no small hooks, Travis. I have got to get some. The tag bait catches nothing but small dinkers. So, uh, Tony, you're saying you said night crawlers. Mm. Oh my goodness. You get his bait right out there. Wow. Where'd he go? He crawled back into the water. Yeah, he went back. He's a big one. Yeah. I was about to have to help him because he fell on his back. <laughs> Okay. You say where they think they're safe? Yeah. Small cut bay. Except <laughs> as much stuff as I buy, but no small hooks. I mean, I had no, no. I don't buy a bunch of stuff. What are you thinking? No, he's not coming down the pond. Cindy is no small hooker. Look at that booty. <laughs> I don't have any small hooves. I'll have to get some. I screen sure she likes older men. You're so crazy. I'm going tomorrow instead of turkey hunting 68 hours away. 
from Google Ads. Got to make a video. Yep. Hey, Tony, have they updated your uh, watch hours yet? Yeah. Um, this is the other side of the park over there where I fish with Cast Blast. There's a back side of it that's not part of the park. This the other side. Kilometers. Been saving up from some sea Siegler reels. Well, I'm starting to get chewed up. Ain't no fish in here. Oh. I said as I got a bite. Y'all probably couldn't see that either, could you? Turtles taking my bait. They are. Little turds. Um, this is the back side of it, Tony. I'm not fishing in the main part of the pond, the park part of the pond. Maybe I should be. There's all kinds of stuff hidden on top of the water, though. Okay. Oh, there? No. Yeah, I fished over there a couple times and haven't. <laughs> it's after eight o'clock and it's still daylight, isn't that great? Shocked all of us, and we thought they accidentally missed April Fools. But it's a real sale. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna have to leave in a minute. Travis, remind me to get some off and put in my bag. Yeah, we're out of car. Oh, 
chasing some birds. Well, I'm going to have to get another tripod, too. This one don't want to stand up no more. <laughs> there are bluegills here, Travis. <laughs> and turtle. <laughs> now, what are you trying to say, Seagull? Dale, some perch jerking. He already said something about jerking his jerking. What's up, Red? Nope. 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 I was like, who wants a cute fish? Why is it sitting here staring at me? No, that's a big old snake. Don't go over there. I ain't scared of snakes. Or I thought I wasn't coaching. <laughs> They'll drive you out right out of a good spot. Yep. There's like a thousand of them. Mid South says, Is anyone else live tonight since Cindy's going to lose out? What's up, Sandy Toes? Did the snake swim? Did it go away? Yeah. Yeah. I thought. See? Sandy, get Mid South under control for us, please. One does not get mid south under control. It just isn't going to happen. Okay, I said, what are you doing and what have you done with Travis? Travis is in chat. I'm I'm down here in the lower part of Tennessee fishing. You seem to have a way with him. He he's trying to get Cindy arrested. <laughs> I'm not fishing with anybody. I'm fishing by myself, Sandy. There's some people over here fishing over here down the bank. Let me see if I have a rod, rod with a small hook. I'll run down here to the lake and catch a fish. He caught some. Daughter, this is a sub daughter catathon. You caught a catfish. A catfish? You, your dad's going to be so proud of you. Get him in. Get him up. Hurry. Ain't got a very, very big hook or a very good line. 
Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Back up to sixty five sub. Iconic hat fit. Your dad would be so proud. Hey. <laughs> There we go. He's Get that look out of him, please. Ryan, he's got a treble look in his eyeball. It's giving me anxiety. I caught a catfish on a worm hook. <laughs> on a, this is literally hey, a worm. Down. Worm gear. Good job, man. Cindy hitting that fish in the salt. Oh, hook him. I got him. Oh, you barely hooked him too. It's got a uh, it's got a something. plug in it. Somebody put a lure on him. You gotta get the lure off. It's hurting me. How do I get it off the bed? Nah. You got him? Yep. Ooh. Let's get him away from the water. <laughs> take him home and eat him. Right. No, we ain't got the stuff to skinny. You wanna take a picture for your dad? He's making noises. Yeah, that's what they do. Can you get it? Let me get it. Thanks. Somebody called him it. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. I want to touch it. Touch it. Smooth. Yeah, it you want to hold him? They caught a little channel cat. Here, let me get a picture. I'm gonna sit. No, not there. You see where my hands are? You Under it, over his fin. Look. Calm down, buddy. I ain't never held one before. Here. Grab him. Here. Fins? Grab him where I got him. No, oh, he bit me. Ow! <laughs> he bit me. Over the fin. See how he's got it down? There's yeah. two bones right on, behind no, his get, fin. You can get him up. He bit me. See how she's getting him? What do you mean? He bit me. I never had a fish bite me before. Proud of you, honey. No, y'all can stick to the holding. He did. <laughs> yeah, they got this. Funny. Yeah, I didn't. I ain't never had a fish bite me before. Oh, I caught a fifty pound one. He so did that. And no, you're not taking you. credit for it. I just told Dad that you caught a catfish. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, y'all gonna put him back? Yeah. Or these what we see? You can grab him by his lip without him biting. <laughs> uh, he won't bite on. Oh, he did me. Can you see it? No. <laughs> oh, my thing's underwater. I was so caught up on you. And I still have my back. All right. Control. He's going back. <laughs> I'm pulling, Dad. I'm pulling. <laughs> oh, it took off with my bait. I hope you better love me, babe. <laughs> I'm going to use this guy. It's trashy trash around here. What happened to that uh, lure? Oh, I kicked it. I guess somebody tried to catch him and it hey, didn't quite get him. Uh, so Hannah's caught two fishes. I've caught yeah. one, but I think I win. You want to know why? We're going to have to. Pick it up. Oh, did y'all you did y'all catch it on cut bait? I took cool. Oh, yeah, we cut up one of them. <laughs> Madison Bill at the park. It wasn't very big, so let me tell you it's big. <laughs> Let me see him catch a needle and put a finger in his mouth. Uh, five of ten for the dismount. There's no sass to the throw there. <laughs> that was funny.
Well, I did get out fished. I skunked. Do I get a subscriber driver if I catch a fish on that crankbait you found? Do you want a subscriber drive? We'll, we'll do a subscriber drive for you. Nope. Three of ten, not getting far enough. Well, next time I'll I'll eat the hell out of it for you. We need to get more content. That requires catching something starting to feel like mid sale. <laughs> Everybody subscribe to Seago Outdoors. All right. Wow. Don't have to get creative in my meats. <laughs> That fish bit me. Yeah, I need it halfway across this pond. Pin fish? Seagull was trying to get down to a hundred, everyone on sub. <laughs> Well, if you were in here earlier when Stickman was in here, he has a whole bunch of profiles. He could have gotten you a whole bunch of subs. Or Willie has a million. Oh, it's not enough. That's because you unsub from me. Everybody sub subscribe to Paul. You'd say I'll see you on these bigger hookers. We ain't got nothing to carry it, carry it in, and I ain't gonna get it in my lap on the way home. Well, I got my dress. Mr. Rogers, I didn't do too well. I think the skis retracted your clothes. Test, take them off, and let's test the theory. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for Cindy after dark. I was breaking off the, off the disco. Uh. <laughs> I don't feel my ride. I think it's
I really like that. I like that. You know, um, over the thing, over the door open and under the back end, the two front end, the day we won the whole thing, so I thought that was a different way. <laughs> These weren't supposed to fight. Them things will. Oh, we're back in business, baby. Wow. I think I got it. 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 You leave them? Yeah, I'm gonna walk up over here. You have a good one. Y'all too. Thanks for the help. Not a problem. <laughs> That's what I normally do is catfish. I was down here trying to catch the cup tonight, but I haven't I've been on YouTube live. I have a channel. Yeah, I think you at first thought you were talking to yourself and I heard you say, Hi <laughs> I'll drop you I'll subscribe if you tell me your thing of the video. It's a tip tag candy. S K I P J A C K. Any spaces? Um, Skipjack is all one more on one word, and then Cindy. C I N D Y. Uh huh. It should pop up. There I am. Okay, I do a show every Wednesday night at six. So, and then we're live on weekends sometimes too. Alrighty. You have a good. You too. You too. I've been catching nothing but turbo. Oh my gosh, they're mean. I didn't think my rod would be able to think. She's still wrapped around, but it was. Was yours wrapped around? Is that something I just think noticed? To cook dinner. Yes, Penny. Like the line is on the bottom all the way across. And then Penny is here. One of the people in chat said, Hey, dudes, if you're reading chat, congratulations on that fish. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll bring the chat real quick. I was using corn and not crawlers, uh, Mr. Rogers. I might walk over here to where there's lights on the other side of the pond and see what's up. Imagine I just said something witty that burned hard. <laughs> First ever biggest fish, bigger fish. David Cross. Oh, 
Yeah, that was your first catfish? That was my first fish other than, what did you call it? Brim. Brim. I caught like four brim total. I just started fishing last Friday. Oh, that was his first first catfish. He just started fishing last Friday, y'all. I'm in the chat now. David? Yeah. That's cool. It's great. It's a lot of fun to, to fish. Oh my gosh, Anthony said pump. <laughs> That's my chat. Bop, bop. <laughs> it was his PB, wasn't it? Be warned, they're crazy. <laughs> they are. the banana shaker <laughs> you mean this is the banana shaker better than the salt shaker I'm going to put my stuff in the car here. This is where I fish with cast blast, and then I fished here one other time. I don't think I'll come here again. But by the time I got everything done today, this is all I had time for. It did get dark fast. My light, I tried to see if my light was going to work, and it's that um, black light, and it wasn't light. It wasn't bright enough. in that uh, jacked up glowy truck. <laughs> it's a glow show on the truck. Man, it feels good out here. 
Wish I was somewhere where I could really catch some fish. That bag came in handy. I think I did Scotty, what's up, Scotty? Hey, Scotty. It was very white in the Manhattan's. Head south, if you weren't such a liar, I'd believe you could get offended. Well, it lasted till like 8 30 tonight, daylight, so. Man, I could have brought some skipjack. Oh, my ball's small enough to get a lot of rims on my jacked up toy truck. The banana shaker. Well, I was fishing, Scotty, at the local park, but... I ain't getting nothing. I got some bites, but <coughs> I'm trying to catch a carp. <coughs> There's a ball game going on over there. But this is the part of the pond that I normally fish. The other part just looks fishier. Good night, Paul. Somebody's got to go live tomorrow night for sure. And then it'll be Wednesday. Cass Blast catches fish out of here. <laughs> pollen, pollen. It is about time to get along home. It's a kid over on the playground. See, there's a ball field over there. Everyone see Sandy's last vid? She showed her feet. Who will his first guest be? Could it be Modog?
You absolutely know who it won't be. <laughs> it showed you underwater like a jellyfish. Okay. You guys want to ride home or are you ready to say goodbye now? Jellyfish is that good on peanut butter. What's up? Wheelie, 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 wheelie. No, I didn't. I wasn't real hopeful that I would. What's up, Travis? What are you doing? I've got down here to like. <laughs> Did, <the> you? <laughs> Did you go to Cove Lake? Yeah, I'm down here at the bridge. It's probably about the only place I can get a signal. Awesome. Are you going to catch a know. fish? Yeah, I'm going to catch a fish. <laughs> I got to get some rods and stuff out. Oh, listen, I didn't have rod holders. Did you see where I had to improvise on the rod holders? Why didn't you just use that rod holder? That, uh... Because I don't have the uh, rebar for it. I use rebar. For it. I don't have any, any kind of anything. You could suck your fingers in the holes. Buttercat said, Travis, we need more wood. <laughs> we need more wood. Hey, I built a fire uh, here at Cove, Cove Lake once down here at the boat room. Uh-huh. That stupid park ranger came down there and threatened to give me a $300 ticket and everything. And the water was even down. It was actually on uh, Norris. In the lake? Yeah. On some rocks where the water was down. Uh huh. Yeah, he's just being a complete ass. Well, that ain't cool. Is that why you asked how much longer I was going to be out? Yeah. <laughs> Gerald, he I is going to fish. He set up with lights and stuff. My light wasn't uh, bright enough. What's up, Kentucky Redneck? Listen, I wish I was going fishing with that Travis guy. Well, so what we sort of are, we're doing it virtually. I'm not fishing. I still got my worms and stuff in the car. I could throw out right here. I think Sandy might be starting to fall for me. It's healthy said that, Troy. <laughs> Not a mouse said nothing wrong with the old fork and stick stuck in the mud rod holder. Been using them for many years. Well, you know, I am a country girl. I figured something out because they said I was going to lose my rods propping them in that bag. Go over by Travis and fish with him. Travis is an hour and a half away. But man, isn't he the cutest thing? Oh. You. I'll do the banana shaker for you. A what? The banana shaker. Salt shaker. They thought I was scared, Travis. Huh? To do the salt shaker thing, they thought I was scared. 
Tell him I ain't never scared. Because uh, he lives up there and I live down here. What's up, Willie? Where? Oh, you're down by the bridge, you said? Well, here, let me put you full screen. There we go. He does have a cute little cowboy butt, don't he, Willie? Um, no, it's no problem. We've been seeing each other a couple years. I just have a I have a house down here and responsibilities. I spend every minute I can up there with him, though. If I don't stay up there all the time, he misses me more. Ain't that right, Travis? I, I said, if I don't stay up there with you all the time, you miss me more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hitch right, Hitch said, Travis Randy said, you can catch fish anytime, anywhere. Don't disappoint us. It is Cove Lake, yeah. Paul said Sandy toes at least Cindy or at least Cindy can swap right now. Don't be eating the bugs. Hey, that's my rod holder. I could have used that. Hey, it feels good out, don't it? It feels real good. What feels good? What feels good? The air and everything. It feels good outside. Yeah. Well, he said a man needs someone to cuddle with, too. Paul said you took your time answering that. What are you talking about? Well, I was down there hooking the hook up. I thought she was trying to trick me. You know how, how <laughs> she would be sometimes. She would try to trick me. She's saying something crazy. You, gotta be <laughs> you ain't got to be careful. Brown chicken, brown cow. Yeah, I think I'll do the one with the floater and I'll just cut the, uh, I don't know, I'll just put the, I'll just put the, I'll just put the, man, I just don't know if I can take watching you on the screen. What do you mean? Whew. Getting me all frustrated. We're <laughs> fishing. Sandy said, I have days and stuff where my lupus kicks my ass, but overall I'm doing okay. I had a dive this morning, so I'm good on those endorphins right now. Tony said, Travis, this is a good show back to back. I'm sorry I didn't catch nothing. I didn't have a lot of hopes for this place, but I thought I might catch something. I had uh, the the bit, the only hooks I had were I think there were one all uh, grass 
grassless or whatever they're called. Weedless. I'm just taking my hip jack rod and the bluegill rod and taking I took the uh, curly claws off the hip jack rod and placed it in the worm. Uh, Gerald said that was a good answer. Oh, wow. Where you said you was down there and you was afraid I'd trick you or whatever. Oh. Paul said, why don't blind people go skydiving? I do not try to trick you, but Bonnie said, Randy said, Travis is God's gift to the catfish, letting them breathe in oxygen all the time. <laughs> Since I moved away from that other side over there, the mosquitoes aren't as bad. I'm sitting on one of these big old rocks here and I'm not getting chewed up, so there's a little bit of a breeze. I wish I could see the water. It's beautiful. Oh, well, I've got you on full screen so they couldn't see it if they wanted to. <laughs> it frightens the shit out of their dogs, he said. Why blind people don't go skydiving? <laughs> I would actually like to go skydiving, but when I pull that chute, my back is thick as it is, I'd be afraid to break my back, but I would love to do it. I'd do it. But it might jerk you around. That when you went uh, tubing on that thing, it it kind of hurt you for a few days afterwards. Yeah. He's gonna have to get closer to the phone, Gerald. He said, "Can Travis put his volume up some? He can barely hear him." We always have that problem. Tony said, "Flustered, hot, and bothered, Cindy." Can't hear a word you're saying. You're going to have to get closer to your phone. What? Yeah. Talking to me? How much more after dark is tonight going to roll of Cindy's hot and flustered watching Travis and Becca shows up? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, BFFFFFFF. What's going on, Lisa? Mid-South said Becca loves me. She just doesn't know it. She doesn't know it. Autocat said, Cindy Travis is there to fish, and he's there to watch the ducks. You better head that way. You know, if I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd be there. It's no good. Got to go by. All right. Yeah, get, to, get some rest, Paul. It's 2 a.m. Time to go to bed. Who's going to bed? Bass fishing with Paul. It's two o'clock in the morning where he is. I go well. I might go to bed. I might not sleep. What time did you go to sleep this morning? Willie said, "I don't mind getting jerked around now and then." <laughs> Red's not in here now. He was earlier. Willie said, mumble, mumble, mumble. Sandy said, nothing like a parachute choking the breath from you. That's true. Lonnie said, call in. I'm all out of them. I'd have to take a vacation day. Then I'll be out of vacation days. I'm taking my birthday off because I've got a dentist appointment. I have to put all that kind of stuff together. If I don't schedule a vacation, I'll be taking a day at a time and that'll suck. Yeah. Uh. 
Okay, now I can sit down. So that you're sitting on a 180 hours PTO. I wish I was. Dang. Think there's a what? A boat. There's something over there. Have a boat on Cove Lake. <laughs> put a boat on Cove Lake is if you rent it. If you rent it? Yeah, and put a you can put a scroll motor on it or a paddle. Really? Uh huh. Cove Lake's not it's just that part that you can see, right? It's not big lake. No, it goes down under the weird land. Oh, okay. the water was uh up a whole lot they took and drove up over the weir dam in the cove lake they said they had to trim the motor up whenever they hit it so dang scotty said i get four hours of pto every two weeks wow that's nice. <laughs> Sandy said, I've never been skydiving, but I'm assuming my seatbelt has a similar fix when I hit the brakes. Gail said, I've got two and a half hours PTO. Dude, I'd hit them pretty hard. Yeah, you would. Okay, that floater's not going to get it. It's going to come right over into my other line. Uh-oh. The water's actually going in the Cove Lake to out of Cove Lake. I don't get it. Ronnie said, I just took 10 days off to Turkey. But after today, I think I'll just fish. You're not having any luck with the turkey hunting? Are you going to have to take the floater off? Seagull said, maybe it is four hours. Only the third week on the job. Oh, okay. Are you liking it? I need to bring one of those lights home too, Travis. I have one battery. Do you have a lot? No. I mean, I have my, um, <laughs> I have my, um, black light thing. <laughs> Jake says he gets six months of vacation a year. That's <laughs> too nice. Jake, hey, did you see that bear he posted? A bear? Yeah. No, I've been a dead run since I got off work. Was he? I think it was a grizzly bear. Was he a grizzly or a brown bear? Tony, why are you gagging? Every time you do that, I think somebody's in here. Lisa said, Jake, buy that plane ticket. Tony said, Hitch, going to travel. Soon enough, Lisa. I made a mail call video today. It, it's not the greatest. When I do them in, at one sit take, it's like, well, whatever. But I got to post it when I get home. Please said, I'll hold you to that, Jake. That yeah, I'm, I'm McDouble and his vanilla milkshake is pretty good. Did you actually go to the Jacksboro McDonald's? Yeah, because I went ahead and come out right there on the four lane and looked over there. 
<laughs> it wasn't real busy, so I shot over. <laughs> You need to go down there to Wendy's and get one of them. Uh... So you tell me that now, and I've already been to McDonald's. But I, <laughs> if I'd have went down there, then it would have took over. Right. See, it didn't take me long at all to get down here. No. I'm literally, actually closer this to this than from the house than it took to get here but there's a reason i never fish here yeah well it's about like loudon lately yeah, ain't a whole lot of difference between cove lake and loudon well i don't know about that <laughs> at least well, we got we... down there at least we got I what did, i didn't see this kid catch a little bitty flathead over here before though. but it was on the other side of the park That's the only place you can fish out there without the park rangers messing with you, isn't it? There's only what? Only place you can fish this time of night without the park rangers messing with you. Well, pretty much on this side of the bridge, kind of. But I could have went down to the other bridge and went down under it. Now, them lights back there where you see them, you can park right over and walk out that way. No, you can park down on the right probably and walk over there kind of into the park maybe but it makes me want to get my fishing poles back out what are you doing sitting here on a rock sitting on a rock yeah, Jake said, maybe I can get Reef to be my travel buddy. I, you should have got that bear to be a travel buddy. He could have <laughs> carried all your stuff. You could have packed him up like a, a mule. <laughs> you see Jake running around with a bear on a leash. <laughs> Jake said, Reef doesn't have the patience to catfish. Sandy said, Bish and Sebastian in the same vehicle, what could go wrong? Hmm. Is that rod holder sideways? Probably. <laughs> <clears throat> it's on my uh, rebar thing because of... Uh, I didn't see yours right off. So it's sitting way up high. <laughs> Tony said they'll be spreading crabs across America. <laughs> yeah. It's the great crab spread. They all said Earl won't do anything to make you do all work. That's funny. <laughs> Lisa said, caught anything? And the age said, seven. And they were huge. We <laughs> <laughs> always do the same thing. Hitch said, seven. And Otter Catch said, they're huge. <laughs> the answer is always seven. No matter what. It's always seven. <laughs> They're huge. There's something out there swimming around in the water. Where? Right in you? front of me. No. In front of you? Yeah. I'm glad they are somewhere. I can't even. I'm going to have to go peek and see if I can figure out what they are, what it is. They're everywhere. I thought it was Jump ducks up. at first, but they're not um, breaking this. They're not on top of the water. Wish I had a flashlight.
So I gotta have a tripod that's not broken. The bigger one's about on jugs, according to Mid South. Angela said, Now you tell me, Travis. What? What did I tell her? All on the middle rod, too. Scotty said, All on the middle rod, too. It's always seven. Is that what you mean, Angela? Keep hearing stuff. It's a ghost. It's a werewolf. We get ready going on an adventure. Nothing by. <laughs> hey, I need to tell me. Okay, I think my phone's okay. It's going on an adventure. I've got thirty nine percent on mine. About always saying seven. Yeah, that's what she's talking about. That always saying seven. Man, look how clean they keep Cove Lake. It's wonderful, ain't it? <laughs> it was oh, trash over there for hours. Let's see what somebody's been using here. <clears throat> the Strike King package. Hey, were you traveling when that little, the guy that was over next to me uh, caught his first catfish? I was listening. Yeah, it was that little channel cat. That was his first catfish. That was the first thing that he caught that was bigger than like a brim. He's only been fishing like a month. That's cool, ain't it? Yeah. Hell, they were pretty crappy around in pylons. Crappy? Might be. I see some little bluegill down in there. Or minnows or something. I'm taking a go down here and see if I can figure out what's up. By the mess in the water up over here. I think that I'm past the time you're supposed to be fishing. So we'll see. Yeah. Well, we'll see how big an asshole they are. I'll give you a ticket. Well, that's a well, big I huh? yeah, I found you some wood. Did you find me some wood? Yeah. Well, that's big wood. I Check like that. That's big, big wood. I like big wood, and I cannot lie. What's up, Jefferson Einstein? Sandy said it looks like uh, swamp water. There's something right there. It was a spinnerbait package. Like, stupid bass this fishing. stuff is like swamp water most of the time. Yeah, it don't look good, does it? There's bluegill. See? Does he see that bluegill? Where? Oh, it Oh, poking. We get a stick. In a spinnerbait package, stupid bass fishing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What'd what you about far in the water? Yeah. No, watch here. I don't care. I said you need some. The blue gear right there. Right there. You can see? No. Right there. See him right there. Oh. What is he doing stuck in there? He's not. It's about six eight inches of water. Watch it. I'm gonna get him. Oh. I'm gonna poke him. You're poking him? Take off. Autocat said you need some spray paint, Travis. B S B S and S C. What's S C? Oh, Skip Jack Cindy. BS and Skip Jack Cindy. BS and SC. Yeah. There was a frog or something over here. 
Ooh, there went a fish. There's a fish. There's some line. Hitch by Hitch said, was Dale there? And, and Dale said, you'll never know, Beef. There's another blue right there. You need to catch them up. Uh oh, you're Mr. Roboto. One, Emma. Yeah, I'll bring it back over here. Then. Emma, now? No, you're good now. See, it won't even let me run around. God, why is my line all the way over there? Why is it? Maybe I had a bite. Ah, about to get my butt wet. About to dump my phone into the lake. What's up, Bobby? I need a float. Hey, that's a pretty good little drop up there coming off that shoulder. Mm -hmm. and stuff said, if you get your butt wet in a pond, is it automatically swamp ass? Yes. I'm going to say yes. If it ain't, it's going to be pretty quick. <laughs> for, for, yeah, for real. Automatic swamp ass. I kind of don't like this. I, I, if I knew I could get a signal, I'd have went on the north somewhere down there at the boat ramp. But I know I ain't getting more, no signal at the boat ramp. I tell you what, there is no, there is no signal at north. That's why you never see nobody live going going live from north. So I'm fishing too. I just don't have no lights. What's up, Greg? Burgess? Fishing in the north. Fishing in the north. Well, I know what's going on, but. Well, I can see. Can you? Oh, yeah. See my rod? You can see my rod if you look real close in, in them lights. I guess the ball game ended because they turned the scoreboard off. Uh -huh. It'd be funny if I caught a big old carp right now. Yeah, you couldn't even show it. Shit, too. I'd go over in front of the car and turn the headlights on. <laughs> Michelle said, I was wondering why y'all never went live from Norris. There is no signal. It is like a black hole. You can be up in the parking lot of the boat ramp and get a signal, but if you walk down next to the ramp, signal's gone. I think it's some sort of government conspiracy. They hiding something under Norris. <laughs> Ain't no doubt. It's like I walked down through there. You said I started robotting. Yeah. I mean, I'm literally right next to the road right here. Yeah, something about that water. Yeah, I mean, like, he lives so close to Norris, it ain't even funny. I mean, right on top of Norris, but there's no fish in there and you can't go live. 
I've seen Gar and Norris when we were on the boat before. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, but there, we remember the Gar uh, was uh, down there at that one ramp too. Yep. Hey, Hitch back here. here. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Jake said so. We got a little competition going on 1v1. Who's going to catch the first fish? Man, if that's, if that's the case, I'm getting ready to take that floater and throw it over next to that column over. <laughs> Feeling competitive, are we? Man, I'll get my net out and I'll get one of your bluegill and all the scratch around here. Well, I need a float. I don't know if it'll do any good at night, but I got 35%. Before I have to go to for thirty five percent of my phone before I have to go plug it up in the car. You can still fish, but I'll have to go to the car. I've got it looks like about three quarters of the battery. I don't know how long my last on on it though. Somebody said the other day that they went and looked at your content and stuff and that it'd been like a year since you went live. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's been a long time since I went live. Yeah, well, yeah. And since you don't, we, we've concentrated on my channel since that you couldn't go mon be monetized or nothing, so. I, I, can't right, you still to, I can't even imagine trying to get to watch hours to go live. It takes a long time, actually. You mean to get monetized? Yeah, to get all them watch hours and stuff. Yeah, they won't update Tony's. Still isn't updated. Um, I checked mine today and I've got nineteen thousand. See, that's good to have that many wash hours though, because you could go, you could, you could take a month off and still be monetized. Yep. I had to worry about them dropping as fast. Mid South knows everything and is always right. So Scotty said. Norris is never disappointing, though. So Norris. Really that's right. You don't get your hopes up on it, huh? Mm -mm. Tony said, don't forget to like, and he's using fancy script. That's right. We're going fancy. Jefferson said, hey, that's fancy lady in there. He's getting fancy on it. He's so fancy. I say we go fish the bridge. Tony said, say hello to boy burrito. <laughs> nine toes. She still got nine toes or she got eight now? Flamingo is a bot, Sandy said. What's a bot? Flamingo. Oh, flamingo. Yeah. Oh. Man, there's a perfect there's a perfect seat down here by the edge of this lake. Sandy said, how do you tap like that, AJ? Sorry, what? Perfect seat. Yeah, there's a perfect seat. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. No. Right. The bank is washed out, but there's like a place you can stand down there. Mm -hmm. It's like a natural seat. I'm sitting on the ground, but my feet are down in the I bet Cast Blast casted it. <laughs> it's a mystery, Fleming. Get Tony said. I was weed eating earlier, and I killed Grumpy. Oh no! Did you weed eat a frog? Yeah. 
That's terrible. He still moved around a little bit there, so I just kind of pushed him to the side and let him go there. I don't know if he made it or not. You chopped up a frog with the weed eater. He definitely got a good, uh, a good weed eater with him, though. Good night, Angela. Night, Angela. I'm not sure it's salvageable mystery if you re really wanted to do it. I'm sure it's solvable mystery if you really want to do it. He's probably got one of them like key keyboard downloaded. A keyboard download. Oh. You get a bite? Oh. Is this weather for home? Yes. Good night, Troy. 79 degrees. The wind is blowing from the southwest at 3 and the humidity is 90%. I'm still in love with Ho. I'm in love with Ho. We gotta go over here. And push him back. Where are you going? Oh, by the bridge. I'm at 33%. Remember, the party ends when my phone dies. And the party was over. Jefferson said, I wouldn't mind how weather. The weather is always like that at uh, Ho, Jefferson. I'm like, I love it. I mean, it's always perfect, like 80, 82, 79. Beautiful. Ho is beautiful. We'll see you Wednesday. Troy and Angela, hopefully. Please come to my live. Well, dang it. What? Ain't nothing took my worm yet. I got a bite earlier and said, dang it, and they laughed at me in chat. Because I, I had to drop everything and get it. It's a mystery where Ho is, Jefferson. We think it's on the other side of the world somewhere. I believe it's an Asian country place. It's always perfect in the Ho. It is. You're right, Tony. So, Travis, mm -hmm. did you see me do the salt shaker earlier? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny, wasn't it? He, don't, he didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to... They, Mint South was trying to get me to say all kinds of stuff to them kids over there fishing. I was like, no. He was trying to get me arrested. Or beat up. Jefferson said, I usually say no thanks to Ho, but I might like that one. I know I would. Um, in that case, I'm like, yes, please. To the hoe. <laughs> Sandy said, service is straight. Tony said, never turn down a hoe, Jefferson. It's bad luck. <laughs> ah. Sometimes it'd be bad luck not to turn them down, Tony.
Jefferson said, maybe that's what went wrong, Anthony. <laughs> Sandy said, geez, I'll leave and you lot start after dark without me. <laughs> I wasn't in India, Autocat. Thank you, Autocat. It sounds perfect, though. It really does. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I know y'all can't see them fishing. See my fishing pole in the lights? I really am fishing. Jefferson said, let's get to it, Sandy. Jay just messaged me and asked if I was getting on any carp. Heck no, I ain't caught call no carp. I don't think carp are real. They don't exist. Yeah. I said, I'm pretty sure carp aren't real. Lonnie said he used to be in the car real a lot if I need some pointers. Yeah, well, yeah, I do, yeah. Sandy said, well, why you turn down the hole, Jeff? That's a product sampling at its finest. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Rogers? <laughs> Sometimes a hole has the gift that keeps on giving, though. Product sampling. Hey, I think my line's moving. Remind me to tell you something, Travis. I got cracked up earlier today. I can't tell you right now. You think? Well, you saw some bluegill. You should try to catch one of them. Any any fish counts. And that's one v one. Yeah. What was you? Were you gonna try to catch a carp? Jefferson said, "I don't know, Sandy. I'm weird about that whole paying for it thing." I guess, other than dinner and a movie type stuff. Mr. Rogers said, I saw them shad jumping under the bridge. You know what? I think I'm all alone down here. No. No. There's still a car. Two cars left in the parking lot besides mine. I don't know where the people are, though. There's still people over there at the ball field. Tony said, gift the gab. Jefferson calls nothing. Thinking about it already wrong, but bad luck. L-M-A-O. L-A-M-O. Sandy said, so if I make him pay for dinner and drinks, I'm not a hoe. But if I just want cash to spend where I want, I'm a hoe. Yeah, I think they put too much emphasis on labels. You get called a hoe if you like it as much as men do. Eh? Eh? Call me what you want.
Give me a fish. Fishy, fish, fish, fish. Dag nabbit. After I got off today, I went to the post office so I could mail stickers to Jamaica. I'm mailing stuff all over the world. Speaking of mailing, does anybody know where Hank is? Any Jefferson's or something? Hugs. He's supposed to be a Hooks. Hux, but Hux had him for some time now. In my way of thinking, he ought to be on his way to Sam's. Sandy said, after you got off, that's TMI, Cindy. <laughs> well, you don't want me saying it while I'm on here. Oh, Ashley only just sent him out. I found out, so I'm not sure if Huck actually has him. Oh, okay. I always seem to be with him for five years, so I'm not sure what's wrong with me, Jefferson said. I went to the post office and asked them about what I was supposed to do about customs sandy because there's so much stuff in the box and she said i would probably have to do it online like click and ship that way i can enter all the stuff from customs in because the customs paper that you get at the post office only has six slots in it and they're small choo choo I mean, yeah, I can, we can sort of see what are you doing. What is it? Bluegill? Mm. Jefferson said that's going to be a big list. Lord have mercy. So I'm going to be typing stuff in there forever. <laughs> Sandy said, I have a FedEx account I'm throwing money into for that box, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it, it, I'm not do, dreading any part of shipping it except for filling out that stinking customs paper. You didn't go live when you did. Well, it'll take forever. It'll be a long life. You know, I'll have to have somebody else up to read chat. The thing about it is uh, that you have to, when you send something over back and forth from Australia, you have to put what it is, a description of it, and how much it weighs, each thing. Hey, my, uh, my wild home, what's going on? Welcome in. Me and Travis are fishing against each other. <laughs> Actually, we've got the whole of East Tennessee covered trying to catch one fish. Just a fish. Don't matter.
it's a, a hassle yikes the australian shipping it it it's it's weird shipping things uh overseas like that so many different things uh, jefferson oh my god yeah you have to uh you have to fill out a paper paper saying who it's going to and their email address and stuff their address and then each thing that you have in the box has to have a description a description and then a weight so i don't know you can see my fishing pole if i move it see i don't have lights well i do but they're um they're uh or it's a uh, black light. Yeah. You got a fish? Oh, Not goodness. fair. I got to set aside a day to type all of it out. Oh my God. It's a freaking monster. Oh, come back here. Uh, if you drop it back in the water, it don't count. Get to some of that. Woohoo! <laughs> you see? A little bit. Is it just a little bluegill? It's a little warm out. Ah, something just flipped right in front of me. Big. See? Cool. Can you see him now? You can see him now. Shipping is always insane because we are out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I I fully expect it to be like enough money to make me take uh, be like <gasps> Yeah, it is a warm mouth. That's cool. They're so mean. Warm mouths are so mean. You should have seen me holding the turtle up earlier, Travis. It was it was widow. It was tiny. It was a bitty bitty turtle. Something flipped right in front of me. There are fish in here. But it scared me. Our input rules are make sure that it isn't going to affect our biosecurity. They have weighed things because smuggling drugs is a major problem. You can't just walk over the border with them. Y'all check out my wild home. Wild home. Yeah, my wild home. They're uh, donating a hat for the giveaway, a cap. I was watching them live the other day. Okay. Y'all have an island that you're uh, building on? The lady at your post office already wouldn't have wanted to deal with it going to Australia, really. Um, it's going to be on the 27th. I haven't, it's, it's going to be at either like 5.30 or 6. Probably. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. And that's Eastern time. I, I probably wouldn't have to have it so late in the day. I'm not 100% sure I won't have to work that Saturday, though. You have a 62-acre island on a lake. You're building your own homestead out in the wilderness of British Columbia, Canada. That's awesome. Just the two of us. But Ryan can do anything. Travis can do anything, too. That's awesome, though. That, uh... We watch shows like that, you know. Uh oh. They just turned off the park lights over there. Dale said, what have I missed? What minnow was Travis just holding? He caught a fish. That, that light was helping me see my line. I actually think it was getting messed with. That was the playground light or something over there.
Dale said that was not a fish. That's awesome. Yeah, we watch TV shows like that. 62 Acre Island on a Lake. That's cool. I've watched a couple of you guys' lives where you're talking and stuff. I need to get involved in some of your other content because I like that homestead. And Tonight, that what he called just a minute ago was probably the biggest. <laughs> it was the biggest we caught. Um, but that, Travis's uh, personal best that he's ever caught was a 93-pound blue cat. And then my personal best is a 50-pound blue catfish. That's what we mostly fish for is catfish. Now, tonight I was trying to catch a carp. Because everybody says that pound for pound that the fight on a carp is, is probably better. There's my key. Ninety three pounds. It was huge. They they cease to to keep they don't look like a catfish anymore at that point. They're they're weird looking. What's up, Jay Butt? Yeah, we fish for the for the big trophy size catfish. But I've been I've been talking about and trying to catch a a, a carp just because of the fight. Does corn work for carp there? Well, it's supposed to. That's what I was fishing with. My wild home does look really interesting. Did you hear that, Travis? What? That They have a 63, I think she said 63 acre island on a lake that they're going to build like a homestead on themselves. That's Just that's him and her. I think it's awesome. That's that's the dream getting to to do something like that. Off grid and just doing your own thing. Yeah, if you guys, if you do want to donate a cap, just let me know how you want to do it. I've uh, followed several homesteaders, but I mean, a lot of them aren't really homesteaders. They just have a garden. <laughs> you can send it directly to the winner. It's a. It's going to be on the twenty seventh. That's a Saturday. Saturday after, not this coming Saturday, but the next Saturday evening. Okay. Uh, if you're in chat, if you're in the chat that day. Then we can just have them contact you. You can drop your link or whatever. Or if you don't think you'll be able to make it, if you'll just give me your email address, I'll have the winner contact you by email. But uh, can you, uh, oh, I got a buy. 
Is there a way you can send me a picture of it so that I can show it to the chat what they're going to be winning? I finally got a bag. Yeah, let's do that again. Long fishes. We've got a set of scales, fish scales, and then a game camera, a reel, a whole bunch of sticker packs so far that are going to be given away. Make sure you get a detail. Okay. Am I shipping overseas? I don't think so. I'll ship stickers overseas. But I think before I do any of the giveaways on this, stuff, I mean, people have varying opinions about that. I'm willing to ship stickers over, but... If somebody wants to pay shipping and they want to enter a drawing and if the person is a channel member and I do it a, a members only giveaway, then I will ship overseas. But there's just a lot involved. It is. It's skipjackcindy at gmail.com. But it's in my uh, it's in my description. I finally got a bite. I didn't call two. I don't know what you're talking about. They were a widow. Uh, you called. Oh. What do you mean they were little? My. It was, it was massive fish. War mouth. Them little war mouth. Now listen. When I, catch like big, when I catch this big one here in a minute, then you're going to lose and I'm going to win. What am I going to win? I don't know. A whipping, probably. JBT said a whipping? Now you're talking. <laughs> JBT said Cindy goes carp fishing and broke it in my heart. How'd I break your heart? Because I ain't doing it right. Don't you just throw a worm out there and sit in the box? Yeah. Um, I, I do need, we do need more peg bait, JBT. Do you ship across country? We did use his peg, we did use your peg bait, didn't we, Travis? I still got some of it in the freezer. I could have brought it down here. But I don't think I'm fishing in the right spot for carp. Uh, do I break carp? I've, I've seen them carp over there before. There's some big carp in Cove Lake. But. Man, there is something swimming around the top of the water here. We did use your pack bait up at. Uh, remember where it was a. Uh, Third Creek? Yeah. Comes into the Tennessee River in Knoxville. Travis hooked into one carp or something and it got got off. Bingo said, said I break a lot of hearts. I don't break nobody's heart. I hear a frog. Here or there? I guess it's here. There's some pea frogs here. I ain't breaking no hearts.
That's crazy how good it feels out here. I know. I'm loving it. I'm in my short sleeves. That's what I said when I decided to come fishing. It wasn't so much about whether or not I was really going to catch anything. Because I had my doubts about this place. Um, I just needed to come fishing. I didn't feel like it Sunday. Yeah, people would have to love me before I could break their hearts. This ain't doing nothing but make me want to actually really go for it. <laughs> Where are we going Wednesday? Good question. I'm wondering if they'll keep raising the lake up. I don't know. Have they today? Have you looked? No, I've been busy all day today. Oh, yeah. You have been. Did you mow your yard, too? Yeah, mow my yard. We did mow our yard and we did mow the field. Field's kind of, it's the first time it's been mowed. It's kind of rough. Right yeah. Where we let it grow up a little bit in the winter, where right? rain and wind and everything blow that hay grass down pretty much at brown spots. Yeah. But we won't take it. I mean, there was daisies and them little purple. What do you call them little purple flowers that uh, the honeybees get on all the time? Clover? I don't think they're clover. They may be clover. Does clover bloom with them little purple flowers? Oh, are you talking about a uh, thistle or whatever? Maybe the purple I ones? Man, them things look everywhere, though. And them little bitty daisies? Yeah. Did you pick me a bouquet, Travis? No. Well, dang it. I mowed every one of them down. They're in little bitty pieces. Jefferson said I was plenty lovable, so I may have broken some. <laughs> I don't recall. Hmm. Ain't no fish in here except for that one that flipped right in front of me a minute ago and scared me. Hey, I caught two. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my lord! I bow, I bow to your superior fishing skills, sir. Right. That's right. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still a student, and you are still my sensei. <laughs> <laughs> but no that's not the truth i've been fishing see them big old bass i posted pictures of i want to hear it what catch a bass no i don't know why you didn't go over to mall or a boat ramp because i was running out of time it's not that far. Where I said, where I asked you about? Yeah, there was a little beach next to it and everything. Well, maybe I'll go there tomorrow. I wasn't sure about the beach, if that was going to be a problem. I it's went grocery shopping. I went grocery shopping. So I was like, I ran home, 
after and then put it, uh, my stuff away and changed shoes and ran out the door again. It's already past your bedtime. I know. It. And I'm still sitting on a at lake bank. It's the story of my life. I was hoping to hook something. I got about a second ago, and that made me want to stay longer. I hate that. I think them fish just know. And you know it's worse when you're holding the rod than when you're looking at it because if it gets smacked whenever you're looking at it, it's like, okay. But when you're holding it, it's like, oh, man, I felt that. <laughs> Come on back. Right. I think that most of them, they might have given a couple of bluegill down that bank there, but I think most of them was uh, them a little warm out. Nothing, nothing about on a warm mouth either, huh? I couldn't get nothing by it on them uh, when I was down there at Fox. Mm Well, there goes the last, the last what? The last car out of the parking lot. <laughs> Yeah, the police will come down here and be like, it's not safe for you to be down here, ma'am. I'll be like, I have pepper spray. I'm fine. <laughs> they come down there and say that you should get all dramatic. Like, for real? Have you been having problems down here? Is there somebody down here? Jefferson said, I would have told you. Why you going to scare me that for that, that one? <laughs> Jefferson said, I always hold I'm my rod. It just seems better to me. Start crying and say, I'm never coming down here again. You said it was dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. They, they make them feel all bad. Say, I'm never fishing again. <laughs> you, you, you said somebody was going to get me. <laughs> I love fishing so much and now I can't fish. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get me. Like, are you kidding me? There were there were times in my life when I <laughs> would have kind of liked being kidnapped. There ain't no danger of it happening. Yeah. It was kind of funny though when we pulled up downtown Knoxville down there, and there's three carloads of. I guess twenty something year olds screaming at each other <laughs> just back there in front of them and started getting stuff out. Oh, down there at the uh, boat ramp, wherever. Yeah. No, down there, down from Calhoun. Down in Knoxville. Oh yeah. The crap was that?
Play with something over. We may have an animal when we get. Ow! Hunt and stuff said, "Did Michelle ever get her horny, honey?" <laughs> no, she did, she did, she didn't get it. We sent her another one. We had to send her another one, and she hasn't had time to get that one yet. I told her tonight to let me know when she got it. Her <laughs> horny, honey. <laughs> Here, I have been calling it Jamie Weldon. That's a much better name. He came up with both of them. Grumpy's going to be in trouble. She gets them both at the same time. Oh, I know. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> let, let, let's talk about something here for a minute. <laughs> John and stuff said Jamie Weld doesn't seem right for a chick. <laughs> Thorny Honey is so much better. It we'll really is. It, we'll call it JB Pink. <laughs> Tony said, probably hunting. She in bed right now or possibly a countertop. I'm not really sure. <laughs> the whole house destroyed. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> she said, I was listening. It ain't got here yet, but I'm waiting. Jefferson said that's good that you go prepared. <laughs> that's so funny that she popped up in chat. So, so hunting and stuff is uh, JB Weld, but yours is horny, honey. What did you say, horny, honey? <laughs> yeah, that's what he called it. Fun and stuff. Okay. <laughs> we can't call it J, uh, uh, JB Weld if it's for a woman. Well, that's a good point. Actually, the name of it was Pink Pussycat. They should have called it Wet Pussycat. Oh! That's a, that's a Becca Mudtram song. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Mid South said, I'm special. You are, Mid South. You are not even lying. Oh, no. I'll catch a fish now for sure. <laughs> well, the funny thing about it is, uh, Tony said, Michelle. <laughs> there she is. Okay. Are you going to catch fish or what? Hell no. Right now, I'm trying to fix my fishing pole. Zoom in south. Huh? Uh oh. He heard wet pussycat and like, what are you talking about? Yeah, he popped back up. He popped back up. <laughs> I said pop back up. If there is carp in here, where are they at? <laughs> are they I'm I'm not even sure JBT's still in here. Oh, I didn't think about that. The old man said they uh put some otters in here. Oh yeah. Mid South said they're underwater. 
Well, they might be. They might not be since they put some otters in here. <laughs> the old man, he'll come down here to the park and uh, run. And he said he looked over, I heard something splashing. It was in the otters. And he said he, he never knew there was that many fish in Gold Lake. There was fish jumping everywhere. <laughs> That's funny. Probably gonna go to Walmart. <laughs> you better be hitting it. It's only 10 16. They close at 11. Nope. Um, hey, Randy, I've caught two tonight. Seven. Oh, seven. well, seven, then. seven, and they were huge. What you? I go down here and catch another one just because. I'll show you one of these monsters up here. Seven, and they were huge. If Hitch and Otter Cat were in here, they would have done that little routine. All right. My phone hit 15%, so I'm live stitching it right here. I do. That's three. Whoa. About, oh, he's about. What? Oh, 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 Get massive beast. Woo! Wow. Whoa! Come back here. I rip my hand off. Pico said my computer is almost dead as well, and past my one. bedtime. Seven fish, all world records. I know. Real monsters. I caught a world record bass. I did. It was 26 pounds. Otters raise hell with the fish, don't they? Yep. They'll kill them all. Yeah, they'll kill every fish. Yep, you should see otters near Skipjack. Oh my gosh. Skipjack will just run from them. Mid South said, Seagull, that's a sad story. Go to your room and think about what you've done. What's up, Mike Young? Was that a greenie, Travis? Shit. All right, guys. Got to go. Was your battery dead? Yep, I got 5%. All right. I'm shutting her down. Huh? I'll tell, I'll tell them to have a good night. Yep, everybody have a good night. And we'll see you guys Wednesday, if not before. See you somewhere. Later, guys. I am the champion. You are the champion of the world. You beat me. Now I expect you to beat me when I see you. <laughs> oh. All right.
<laughs> Bye, y'all. See ya.